cold this morning. Spitting as well. Spitting as well. Charity there, uh, doing through dampers. Definitely just putting it into his car. Good morning, peeps and peepesses. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody, and hello, minions. Hello, snakes. Hello, trolls. Hello, human beings. And hello, men and women. Yeah. And God's children. Yes. And welcome back to Freedom Fight Talk. And Justice League, Mackey United, marching on together. Yeah. And also a big shout out. To snake dancer who I was talking to yesterday and he asked me why how, how I manage with my life because of all the he, he listened to our talk the other day about suicide so I told him basically I'll put it on a live now I also got news this morning one of my old friends has died so, so I'm going to give respects to his family who also tuned in. So, old Jock, my, my brother, my friend, now you've gone to a better place. Because he also had a very awful upbringing from being a young, from being a young, ch a young child. So, with respects to his family. Right, I'll get back to what I said. What, uh, what I, the, the question, the answer I got from, I will give the, to him. Right. Just talking about old job, it was him who came up with this idea. After the, after the sad tragedy of Andrew killing himself. He said, if you think of columns in that, oh, he goes, and you put things into columns, you will find out basically your life could be easier. Old Jock was one smart, cold bugger. So I said to him, what do you mean, the columns? He goes, well, you know, like when you've been you're at school and you had tens of thousands of units and you have to put all numbers of you into columns. He goes, do that with life. He goes, so, so he, he goes, in your first column, it's called what you and you put all your stuff in what your day-to-day -day stuff. What you want to, what needs to be sorted straight away. He goes, in your second column, you can put in stuff what's not what's still important, but not important as your first one. And then he says, and then your third column or your fourth column or what it is, you put your awful thoughts in. So I first to him, this is a fantastic idea. So, this is how I won my life. At the moment, as everybody will know on YouTube, my wife's in the hospital. So she's in the first column to, and at the top because that's most important. I want us to be healthy and I want us to be out back with a family. In the second column is my friends of YouTube and other things like that. And then in the third column is what I call my Y column. And why do I call it my Y column? Is because I want to know why is this happening? So that goes like people like suicide, people in poverty, the list goes at mental health, uh, crisis of what's happening in the, in, the, in the world. So that's why I call it me why column. So that's like, and at the very top of that is Andrew, my cousin, who sadly killed himself. Why did it happen? When he could have, and the answer to that is because 
like in many all the answers on that is not getting the help or support what people need which is our right to do it as human beings we should be entitled to the help we need without asking for it and people if the doctor or the professional see you need that help you should have it you should have to pay or thing it you should be able to ask for it and be, be there for you but at the moment it's not so why is it not that is why i call it my why column so there's your answer how i want my life and how i and how i get through every day or you can think of it as a lynx each link represents something and when something good happens one of them links can be broken but at the moment people are having more and more and more links added to it or more and more columns because of all the things that's happening in the world people losing their jobs food banks being locked in the house 24 7 because of this what's going on so they can't talk to their friends and their family see the friends or family or the loved ones who's in hospital this is why it needs to change because there's too many people getting let down by society and getting let down by the governments and the councils and this is why i said to you the other day it needs to change and to change now so the people don't suffer anymore so we don't lose any more people because there's too many families getting let down and losing loved ones and suffering the heartache of losing a loved one because they're being let down by society by the government and by the councils this is why we all need to unite and march onto the onto the MPs, march onto your councils and say one word. I want answers and I want them now. Fight all this corruption that's going on and all these overpowered people in the world and say, I cannot stand no more. I've had enough. People need help they need support this is what we all need to do start banging down the doors until you get your answers you should get you, you need them answers why it is not happening when it should be and it's nothing to do with funding or money or anything else to give you a, sh a load of crap about it's because the power hungry bastards who think of own thing and don't think only their own back pocket it's greed but it should be going to the people not in their back pockets and if they can't do the job give it to somebody who can this is what people need to do we vote them in them seats it's time they listen to us. It's time they make the work for us. And if they don't like it, don't vote for them. Give it to somebody who can. The election's coming up soon, and you get, you'll probably get your councillor banging on your door, or your MP. Possibly. Possibly. You know the best thing to do? Have a load, give them a load of questions and ask them why this is happening. And you want to not, and they might give you, they might flog you off and give you a load of first class bull. And they say, oh, we can, we, 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 if you vote for me, we're going to change it and all this lot. Get them to write a contract that they're going to do it. You've got the rights to ask for one. They say, all right, if I vote for you, I want to, I want to cut a contract to say you're going to try and change these things. Go turn around and say to your lord, that your contract, you've, uh, you've 
your voting form and it tells yeah. the leaflet of what they've put but out. Anybody can put anything in a leaflet. Vote for me. I'll make this world a better place. I'll get sure that the, the children get the support they need. It's just words. It's just a piece of paper. It doesn't mean fuck all. It's just words. A contract is a legal binding item that you have to follow. If not, you pay the penalty. This is why I'm saying, get them to write a contract. So say, if you're feeling that, sign that. That's a contract between me and you that you say you're gonna try and do these things. You've got the right to do it. It's called freedom of expression. That means, as a person of the United Kingdom, you can ask for this. There's no law saying you cannot. There's no law in the world, in the land. Well, she said you cannot get asked for a contract between that person or a company. It's caught in Andy. It's just legal and binding, so you can take them to task. This is what people start need to start doing. Instead of just listening, hearing what people are saying. A word, because word these days doesn't mean a oat. Contracts are good. Contracts is what people need to start and get people to sign up to. Because it's legal, it's legal. You can take them to task. Same with copyrights. People need to start doing copyrights because it's legal binding. Because there's too many trolls stealing people's items off YouTube, etc. So if it's copyrighted to you, it's legal binding. That means you can sue because of copyright infringements. This is what people need to start doing. They need to start having a backbone. They need to stand up to these trolls. They need to stand up to these power hungry people. They need to stand up to governments. They need to stand up to councils and ask for answers and ask them why it's happening. Why is people getting let down? Why? 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 And it shouldn't be happening. We shouldn't be having this in the world. Children in poverty. Families in poverty. Children, family, people going out to work, but yet still haven't got enough money to go into and have to go into food banks. Children getting let down in schools. Children getting let down. There's no fault of their own. People having to wait on waiting lists to see specialists or counsellors. It's disgusting. It's horrible. It shouldn't be happening in this day and age. And, th and that's why I'm saying, why is this happening? It shouldn't be. We're the fifth richest country. We've got the Commonwealth. I know, that, so basically, it shouldn't be happening to us. It shouldn't be happening to anybody. We should have to wait for help. It's disgusting. Absolutely and utterly disgusting. Right, it's all. And that's what I'm saying to you, the, the people out there. Time you grew a backbone. Time you marched on to these people. And, that's, and start saying, I'm not leaving until I get the answers I want. This is what I'm saying to the people. Our people. The people who need to be united as one. And fight so we get a better future for our families. Our, ch our grandchildren. <coughs> for our sons, our daughters. So there's no more people suffering in this world because of corruption power hungry people 
councils are not doing as they're told, uh, as they've asked. Governments that support the people and not just in it because of the money. Money is the root to all evil. But, and this is the biggest problem in this world, greed. Greed is one of the worst, it's horrible. I want, I want, I want, I only want all the time. No, it shouldn't be, I want, I want, I want. It should be going out and helping the people, supporting the people. Be a friend to the people. Doesn't matter what religion you come from. Doesn't matter if you're black or white or orange or green or if you, or if you believe in your beliefs or what you want to believe in. It should be all trapped and equal. I'll say that again. We should all be trapped as an equal. There shouldn't be any specialist things because you've got money and you can pay for things to do. So you can pay for your health care. You can pay for counselling. It shouldn't be happening in this day and age. It should be all trapped as one. If you need the help, it should be there for you. You shouldn't have to suffer in silence. You should have the support, the need, what is entitled to you as a free, and I'll say it again, as a free human being of the world. Yes, you are free. You're not chained by a ball and chain around your ankles. You're free to do what you want. You're a free person. It's called being a part of the human race and what the people fought for. Like the women's votes. The freedom of what the... What people are entitled to by law. So you can ask these things. You can ask for the answers why it's not happening. One man cannot stand alone. But if that one man gets a few more men or women or people to support what he's saying, things may get changed. The people could get better la better think services. And tell the councils and the government and the, po and the other power of we've had it enough is enough we can stand no more because the people and I'll say that again the people want the answers not the person the people that means every one of us doesn't care if they want, if they turn and give you a load of bull, keep fighting that fighting until you get the answers you want. Until it's until the, you get the help, the support for your family, your loved ones. So there's no more people get suffering in this world. So we, can, so we can be as one, so we get the support, we get the help, we get the treatment, we get our jobs of what we want, so we can make, we get our trades from a country. Trade is good, trade is fantastic, it helps people, but if you get trade, you get a bit of work, you get businesses. But just think back, Britain had the bit, one of the best industries, things in, in the world. We had steel, we had car manufacturing, 
the list goes on and on. Can't we give it back? So people are no longer in this. The answer is, if we work together and the government stop fucking around with it, with our lives, and the councils does, we can get back to this. It's going to take a long time, but without a Brexit, so we should now fight so we can get a better life for everyone so we can bring trade we can bring better health care we can bring what people need back to this country of ours so we all and the government can go and get the trade deals with other countries so we can buy we can sell so that the so basically the people can buy and sell with no you know, uh, custom charges this government should, should scrap all custom charges because if they get scrap it all the people can trade with these countries so basically what's it doing it's helping the, it's helping the the world because you're trading so basically if you want to buy stuff from countries what you need because it or you are basically it's going to help manuf in manufacturing so you don't have to pay charges on it that means the businesses grow businesses grow more money goes back to the people back into the people people society more jobs more people then have a future instead of at the moment having no future having no lives because they've got nothing to do and suffering because they can't provide for the families well, they've got to go to food banks they've got to suffer in silence it's horrible it's this, this world shouldn't be like this there shouldn't be any poverty there shouldn't be any people suffering this is why I say it here because I'm not, I've, had, I've had enough I want a better future for everyone. I want our industry to come back. I want people to have a life so they've got the help, they've got the support, they've got what they need around them instead of suffering in silence. But is it a dream? No, it can't it, it can happen if, if the government and the people start fighting for it. It can be done. Oh yeah, it can be done. It can be done easy if the government and the councils and the people fight for it. You work out, if we get a trade deal with some of these countries look at the stuff we can buy look at the stuff we can export so wait a minute so we, the stuff we buy stuff in but we are going to export stuff export means business it means jobs it means a better life for the people you don't need to put on custom charges so you buy from other countries no custom charge. So what are you doing? You're helping the other countries. What's up? With the with the funding. So you're helping people. So see, it's easy. So what happens? The businesses get better. So they're then going to employ more people. So what does that mean? The, the people end up with jobs. So people then go and support the families. 
because they've got to go to a job. Which also helps the economy. See? It's not hard, it's not rocket science. But you can we can do it. So what does happens then? More money goes to the people, more money goes into society. Then you get your help you need. It's not rocket science, it's simple. It all comes down to one thing only. The people being united and stop being greedy and think and being selfish. And the and the government and your councils need to start opening their ears, take their fingers from up their asses and think, who voted you in them seats? The people. You are working for the people. So you, better, so you need to start listening to what the people are saying because they can't stand it anymore. Enough is enough. So Mr Boris, uh, minute, Prime Minister, if, you have, if you've got your, only your secretaries who's got a, a brain in their head, listen to what we're saying because the people are asking why is this happening when you are supposed to be going out with your ministers and stop fucking around our lives and get out and get these deals get these trade deals get the answers we require so there's no more people suffering we don't lose any more people because it's enough is enough families cannot take any more because this is why it needs to happen and it needs to happen now so stop fucking around get your finger from up your ass and get the answers the people need and get these trade deals get rid of custom charges we don't need them <coughs> it's just all that bit so the rich can get rich so you can get rich because of custom charges scrap it scrap it today you don't need it because you work out if people trade and you'll get to custom the trade for the people who wins? Everyone. Put custom charges on. And the people will not doesn't want to buy from other countries. Because they've got to pay another charge on top of what they want. So everybody loses. So they won't buy from countries. But scrap it. The custom charges. Who wins? Everybody. That means... We can get our trade deal, we can trade with the world, which is good. That means everyone wins. So we're all, yeah. so we all became united. We support everyone. So that basically people don't suffer anymore. Families don't suffer anymore. This is what I'm saying. Every word I've just said is the truth. You hear it too much and when you're going out, people and families are suffering. Because the father, the mother, the brother, the sister are suffering. So what ends up? People committing suicide because of it all. Families needing the help and support what they're not getting kids in poverty in this day and the, and the list goes on and on it shouldn't be happening in this day and age so come on Mr Prime Minister and, the, and your party of ministers and every other party SNP, L Labour and the list can, the Green Party, Black Party, or whatever kind of party you want to call each other. Start, ask, start giving the people the answers and ask it what we're asking for. 
Why is this happening? And don't flog us off and give us a load of bull. We want true answers so people can find and, so, and support one another and be, a, and be in a country we can call back as Great Britain. But wait a minute. Everybody's saying but we're no longer great, but we can get back there if the governments and the council and the people support one another and be united and get these deals and get the support and the jobs what people need. Stop all this university college fees. That gets people into, into learning new traits. It's simple. The answer is there if the government stop fucking around and scrap half these, these fees. What the government, the universities, council, uh, government, colleges, etc., etc., put on. So, Mr. Boris, when you go to the next cabinet meeting, Start, start getting things changed for the better so the people suffer no more so and get your council councils off the fucking asses in the areas asking people what they need instead of just sit just get them elected and never see them again until election day and nothing gets done in this world it's disgusting it starts to start time you start laying the laws down and saying this needs to change and it needs to change now. This is why I'm saying this. Here you are. The, the town hall of Halifax where our councillors go, go to. Are hey, you listening Mr Tim Swift, head of the council? Ooh, and all your cronies in there. The people have had enough. Halifax is a shithole. There's too many businesses suffering. You get rid of this fucking stupid fee you put on so that on the shots. Halifax bid. Halifax bid. You don't need it. It's just because you're greedy bastards. Get rid of it. Lower the council, the poll tax. To a decent rate, so people don't have to suffer. With the pay one of the ice poll tax in the in in, your, in the in the UK, it's disgusting. Get your councillors out and get them to the people to ask to ask them the questions. What we want? Why is it you're not coming down to the areas and supporting your people who elected you? No, it's all about fucking money and greed. It's wrong. You can't do your jobs. Fuck off! It's simple. But no, you won't fuck off because you like your money too much. It needs to change. The people have had enough. We're sick of councils who thinking all about their fucking selves. Well, enough is enough. It's coming to election day. The people of Halifax need to stand united and not vote for these wankers unless they do it for what we ask for so we can get the help the support our people need not just in Halifax but the all of the United Kingdom Scotland Wales and Northern Ireland and then we can say we are proud to be was one we're proud to be a part of the United Kingdom, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. But at the moment, we can't say this because we're all suffering in silence. People are committing suicide because they're getting let down. It's disgusting. You need to fucking wake up. And if you don't like it and you want to block us, I don't give two fucks. It needs to be said. And if you want to meet me, to have it out, 
I don't give a fuck. I'll meet you face to fucking face. Let's do it in Halifax Town Centre, where the people can ask you these questions and bring your fucking cronies with you. And you're at I'm fucking Ollie Lynch, because I don't give two fucks. I'll ask you the fucking same questions. People have had enough, and enough is a fucking enough. We need changes, and we need them now. And it goes to any council in the land. The people have had enough, and your governments. The people have had enough. If you don't like it, fuck off.